What's going on legends? Today I'm going to be showing you what I've done to get my first few sales as well as what am I doing behind the scenes to continue while waiting for reviews, ranking and so on. Make sure you stick around through the whole video because we are doing a giveaway and I want to make sure you take advantage of it so I give you the best info I can. For those of you joining in, my name is Dan Bragg and this is a channel where I show you my journey from the beginning to the very end until I make my 7 figures like I want to. Now as you saw in the thumbnail, I made my first launch and I made my first few sales throughout my journey. I'm just gonna refresh the screen right in front of you and you will see this is what it shows. As you can see, few sales, not too many, but this is just the launch and there are things that we're doing behind the scenes. Now make sure you comment below anything about your product launch or your strategy so that it helps everyone and also to join the contest to get a one hour one on one with me so I can tell you exactly what I've done up to now and what worked for me. The winner of the contest is going to be announced next week. If you've commented, you join in the contest and hopefully get the one-on-one. -on -one. So what did I do to get those first few sales? What did I do right? What did I do wrong? And what am I doing next? That's a question that a lot of people that are beginners in our group, a lot of people in general in the FBA asking all the time. And I wanted to cover a few of those things as to what I've done. Number one. I made sure that I have a good brand image, a brand experience from the very beginning to the very end. So when the client comes into my listing, what do they see and how do they feel about it when they receive the product? My first important part is to make sure that they have a great experience from the beginning to the end so that they want to leave me a, a good five star review. It all starts with the proper photography. So when you go on the browser and you type in whatever item you're looking for, the way you click on one versus the other is based on not just the price, but also based on how it looks. If it looks professional, if it looks like it has good reviews and so on, that's when you click on it. Now, the way to get reviews is to make sure you have a good user experience. So we're reverse engineering, start from the start. Make sure you have a good photo right away. The first one is what triggers them to click. The follow-up photos all have to be informative and making sense as to why you put them there. If they don't make sense, don't put them there. Now moving on to the next part is listing optimization. Did you put the right keywords? Did you make sure that you are absolutely optimized for every possible option, a keyword that might, people might type in? If you haven't done so already, then you're losing out on a lot of potential results. Now one mistake that I've done and I learned along the way as I've launched, I've relied on one source to do my keyword research. Now obviously it will give me a good understanding of how my listing is doing, but that's not the only thing, it's just a tool. So maybe instead of relying on just one tool, I wanna to rely on a few. And that way I know just from personal judgment, this tool showed me this result for keywords. Now I'm gonna use another tool to check on the first tool. And you can do it as many times as you feel like necessary, but for me, I do, I've done two. Uh, that way I did word tree that showed me percentage of how I'm doing. Then I did viral launch that kind of showed me what I was missing. And now I feel pretty confident my ad overall is doing pretty good. As far as subject matter, the terms, uh, the title, and so on. If you do those steps, you're in pretty good standing. Now what else have I been doing? Well, I've also created a website in the back end. So before I even launched Amazon FBA, I'm a web designer, I'm a web developer, so for me it's making a lot of sense to create a website because any brand that doesn't have a website in my eyes doesn't really exist. The way I look at it is if a client is about to make the purchase decision and right before they make the click to confirm the purchase, if they want to verify, aside from the reviews, what does the company stand for, usually people like to check a website and if you don't have a website, you don't want to lose the potential client. And yes, not everyone does that. Maybe one out of 10 will do it, but you don't want to lose that one customer, right? So now I've created the website. I've also went ahead and done product photography by myself because I know how to do it. And I've done a promo video. So it's a really cool video that look, that shows and portrays the item in different environments and different people using it. And that is a really helpful thing for me to use for social media. As I was doing those two things, I have my Instagram building up the followers. I have giveaways going on on there and I have the promo video being launched on there as well. So getting likes, comments and so on. Now in case you thought that was everything, no it's not. Most people jump on PPCs right away. I am on the other hand trying to not jump on PPC just yet because I want to get my first reviews before I do that. In the meantime what I've done is I've used my promo video that I've created and created a Facebook ad that's targeting people that are related to my niche and now I'm also offering them a giveaway for leaving comment. And if they leave a comment, uh, it's just like I'm gonna do a draw there and then one of them will win the item for free. 
Now that seems like something that a lot of people, if they see the ad, they'll be like, you know what, why not? I'll drop a comment, maybe I'll win. Now why do I need all those comments on my ad? Or why do I need to give away anything at all? I need to generate as much engagement as I can on that promo that I'm doing so that a lot of eyes get onto it. And that means, aside from what I'm paying for Facebook ads, a lot of other people will spiral out into the ad and now I'm getting free advertisement. So for the cost of a few dollars, I'm getting a lot more exposure. So guys, this is just a general overview of what I've been working on and what I'm doing for the launch. I hope you replicate those steps so you at least you do your own steps. I would love to hear what is your strategy, so make sure you drop a comment below to join the contest regardless. Go to our Facebook group, FBA Legends, link in the description below as well, and I would love to hear what you've done so that we all learn together, and if you have any questions, I'll be there as well to answer. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and I'll see you in the next video.